rising, birds are chirping, flowers are blooming. It's official. Summer is upon us. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a huge fan of summer. I get overheated very easily. I get overheated even when it's not summer. Very overheated, like menopause overheated. So I'm never truly myself when the temperatures are really high. But summer has a positive side to it, which is a wardrobe switch. So every season, I have to switch out my wardrobe. I know this isn't true for a lot of people. I have a very limited space in my closet. This is my closet. Not this, only this. And a set of drawers, so I have to be very mindful of what I live out, of what I buy, of what I put away in storage, and of what I give away when I don't want something. So it's always a good exercise, even though a bit labor-intensive. It's a good way of analyzing what you have, of being creative, of always buying things that you know you will be able to wear and that are going to go well with other things that you have in the closet. So, I mean, it's a hassle, but it's also kind of a reward. And since we're doing this video thing now, I thought that we could do this together and I would show you kind of my summer staples, the pieces and techniques that I like to use to look presentable. Even though we're melting, we have to look good, remember that. So let's start! Thing I consider when dressing during summer is comfort. As I said, me and heat, not a good match. So I have to always be very mindful of one, the materials that I wear, so I usually opt for natural fibers and fabrics. I also like lighter textures and streamlined, not so restrictive cuts. Something that will feel very second skin, that I won't notice all day long just clinging to me, it has to be comfortable. And I also think it's very important to keep in mind the references and those iconic styles that you would like to emulate. So in my case, I love 50s and 60s fashion, like those Hollywood starlets when they're out in vacation, that is the aesthetic that I'm going for. So think Grace Kelly in Monaco, Jackie Kennedy in Capri, maybe Brigitte Bardot in Cannes, or Audrey Hepburn anywhere. Let's be honest, that girl knew how to dress. So I tried to take those women and their wardrobes as inspiration to create my looks. So that means a lot of feminine silhouettes, a lot of classic lines, a lot of classic prints. So even though summer is always an excuse to be bolder and louder, I like to keep it a bit more subdued. So I'll go for stripes, some gingham uh, check, animal print that is always a neutral, smaller prints that are easy to mix and match. I also love accessorizing, which is very true to that era. First topic, the t-shirt, the backbone of any wardrobe. I know it's a basic, a classic, but I don't feel like the usual v-neck or round neck t-shirt is a good match to my style. It looks too casual, too rough. I always find it hard to style. So one thing that I'm always on the hunt for are t-shirts with a few extra details. So maybe a different neckline or maybe something on the sleeve, maybe a different shape to it. The important thing is that it doesn't look generic. This one from Zara is a huge favorite of mine 
because it has a slightly higher neckline. It's not so high that it becomes wintry, but it still has a bit of a detail that will help not only create more interest, but it will elongate your neck and will be a great canvas for maybe putting on a necklace or putting on a silk scarf or anything you want to wear around your neck. And I love it so much that I even bought it in three different colors. This is something I highly recommend. If you like something, buy it in all of the colors that you can. I cannot tell you how many times I didn't know what to wear or was just in a rush and had to pick out something quickly. Knowing that that piece works for you, having it in different colors so you always have different combinations of it is really, really helpful. I rarely wake up in the summer thinking I'd like to put on pants today. I honestly would go out bottomless and would probably get arrested, so I do not recommend doing this, but the next best thing would be a skirt. My favorite ones are those that we've been seeing a lot lately, in the best seasons actually. I see it in every fast fashion chain out there. It's the midi length, pleated skirt with an elastic band. Those are genius. One, they look beautifully feminine. The pleating gives it a lot of movement, so when you're walking around, it just flows with your strutting and it looks very pleasant to the eye. It also has a midi length, so you can easily wear it to the office and it goes really well either with high heels or with flats with belly flats, with sandals, very versatile in that sense, but it also transitions very well. So since it covers your legs, you can wear it during autumn and even during winter with maybe knee-high boots, something that is a bit warmer, and the skirt works the same way. And of course, the elastic band will always give you more space for eating more gelato. Another style of skirt that I think is very user-friendly are A-line skirts that have a high waist. I love to wear them because they are a little bit shorter, so very much a summer outfit, but they do look a bit more feminine. I also really like that the high waist allows you to wear tops that are a little bit more cropped, or even those shirts that you like to tie around the waist and have that kind of French Nouvelle Vague vibe. If you're really suffering to get yourself together, to wake up in the morning and choose an outfit, invest in dresses. Some people say dresses are versatile because it's one look. I say they are helpful exactly because they are one look. You're literally picking up one piece and your outfit is done. Of course, you can dress it up and make it a little bit more special, but the dress itself is ready. So you're going to look obviously more presentable than if you just slap something on that doesn't make sense. And at the end of the day, you're just looking around thinking I should have had that third cup of coffee in the morning. And honestly, you can dress a dress up. You can dress it down. You can make it more romantic and sexy. You can make it more simple and casual. You can make it more fancy and stylish, it all depends on how you embellish it. Let's say you have to absolutely put on pants. First of all, I'm sorry, I wish it wouldn't happen this way. But if you do need it, I would highly recommend getting cigarette pants. I love the cut of cigarette pants because they are straight and they finish at the ankles. So it's very flattering on the body and it goes well with a lot of different styles, not only of tops, but also of shoes. My perfect cigarette pants have to be high waist, they have to finish at the ankles and they cannot cling to my butt. That is something that is a pet peeve of mine because it's, I'm a little conscious about that area, so I usually like to opt for something that is not so tight. But if you have a perfect booty, you can absolutely go a little bit tighter. I would if I were you. Another style of pants that I think are great for summer are wide-legged pants. Obviously, the fact that they're wide-legged means that they're not clinging to your legs, 
but also they're very flowy so they're very summery they can be very elegant during the evening if you want to style them with heels or you can really dress it down and even wear them over a bathing suit another option would be of course to wear shorts like the whole theme of this video, we do not want to be over casual, so I would avoid denim shorts and I would go for something like a cotton or a linen or any other very light fabric. With shorts, you have a great opportunity to also dress it up with accessories, so take advantage of that opportunity for sure. In some places, it might get a little bit chilly in the evening, maybe you need to throw something on and get a little bit warmer. When it's high summer, I really hate jackets. I cannot even look at a jacket. So I really love a little throw or a little shawl, maybe a knitted kimono or a really lightweight poncho. One, they look very easy because they're draped, so you can throw it around your shoulder, you can carry it ar around your, the crook of your arm, and it looks completely elegant. But I also love that it doesn't cling to your underarms, an area that I would like to forget that exists in the summer. If you're going to take something in consideration in this video, read my lips. Accessories are everything. I cannot tell you how many times I took a crappy, lazy look to something very presentable and very chic just with accessories. Number one, they are easy to put on. Number two, they don't add another layer of clothing, so you're not creating a style with another piece, you're creating it with an accessory, so you're not going to be adding heat and coverage to your body. Number three, you can be very playful. And during summer, you have so much skin showing that you kind of have this blank canvas to play around. If you think something is too loud, too big, too attention-seeking, try it. Just to give you a little example. A shift dress. A simple shift dress is a staple for summer and there's nothing wrong with wearing it alone. But if you only add a belt, a statement necklace, you have a look that is so much more thought out, so much more intentional and put together that it doesn't just look like something you threw on, it looks like something you actually planned. Same thing with a t-shirt and a pair of linen shorts. This is such an easy way out when you're feeling lazy and you can just dress it up with a pair of kitten heels instead of a pair of lousy flip-flops. Tie a scarf around your head, put on some beautiful earrings, some lipstick, a pair of shades, and you're done. You go from plain Jane to the Jane everybody wants at their party. Just make an effort. The beauty of accessories is that when done right and when done boldly in the right places, they make everything so much more elegant. It's an instant decorative touch that will make you glow and make you look so much more sophisticated. Whenever I wear a necklace or a belt, maybe something tied around my neck like a scarf or big earrings. I'm not saying they're noticeably uncomfortable, but feeling them on myself makes me walk in a different way, makes me act a little bit more put together. Such an easy thing to add. It's something that you don't have to wash, so it's not going to be more work for you. It's something that it's easy to keep because they are small pieces but they totally change your wardrobe. I cannot tell how many times people tell me, oh, beautiful earrings, beautiful necklace. And I mean, I got them at Zara or Mango. You don't have to spend money. You can go vintage. I mean, it's a world to discover. Do not underestimate the power of accessories. And now that we've gone over everything that we have, it's also important to pay attention to what is missing. And this is the positive part of doing a wardrobe switch because you actually visualize everything you have and those missing spots become very evident. First thing that I would like to get, 
are more pairs of pens especially cigarette pens like I was saying I have a bit of difficulty finding pens that fit me the way I want them to fit I've looked for cheap options I've looked for very expensive options so I think that I'm just going to have to accept the fact that I'm going to have to get them made to measure which is great because they will fit me perfectly I'll be able to choose the fabric and no one will have the same pants as I do second thing that I would love to get is a summer shoulder bag I have a lot of bags but they are very wintry I love bags that have croco embossed to them or that are smaller that look vintage but for summer I would like something a bit more seasonal a bit more bright and cheerful so I was thinking maybe something in a canvas material maybe even something a bit more colorful I don't know we'll have to search around and find something third thing that I would love to get are some metallic flat sandals I used to have them I wore them so much that they actually disintegrated so this is a good sign that you have to buy a new pair so I'm looking around I already found one that I really like and it looks exactly like the one I had so I'm probably going to get them like today or tomorrow the cool thing about metallic flat sandals is that they can be worn during the day gives that little spark of metallic but in the evening instead of wearing heels you just put on the same metallic flat sandals and it just looks so much cooler and I think it's a really chic option especially for traveling if you don't want to take a pair of heels in your bag that take up a whole lot of space take a pair of flat sandals instead I would also like to get another pair of espadrilles I already have a pair that is a cream nudie color which I really really love and wear a lot so this time I would get, like to get a second pair that is a little bit different maybe that has even more of a detail maybe something that is in a different material I've seen a few in leather that look really beautiful maybe even a peep toe instead of a round toe just to have a bit of variation I wear espadrilles a lot in the summer they are light, they are easy to walk on and they go with every summer outfit you can possibly think of and another pair of shoes that I would like to get because who has enough shoes in this world? nobody I would like a new pair of sneakers I do not want chunky white sneakers like everybody has because it does not go with my wardrobe like I said I like feminine, delicate, classic so I'm thinking something again in a little canvas something that is light that doesn't draw attention and that can seamlessly work with everything else that I have I also think that I, a chunky sneaker does not go as well with other more feminine things such as skirts and dresses whereas a more delicate sneaker does once we're transitioning between seasons I think a jacket is necessary so I was thinking maybe something in a boucle or tweed fabric would be a great compromise I would also love something that is a little bit shorter maybe that hits the waist so that I can wear it again with dresses, with skirts and the silhouette is a little bit more balanced and finally I would love to get some knitted polos I know the classic Lacoste PK polos are very preppy which would go really well with my style but I find them too sporty and too casual I have a few so I'm set but I would also like to find something that is a bit more elevated so maybe something that is made with a more noble material maybe a linen or a silk blend would have a better fit would be a bit more mature as well I'd be able to wear it at the office or even to go out to dinner so I'm really on the hunt for that one so this is it this is my summer wardrobe and if I can give you one more tip which will wrap all of this in a pretty little bowl we've been locked up and I'm so tired of talking about being locked up but we have been isolated in our houses for a year now that we're getting out make an effort to look good to think about your outfits to maybe go beyond the sweatpants and the wrinkly t-shirts just make an effort you're going to take a lot of pictures this summer I'm sure so make sure that this is a summer to remember not only experience wise but also fashion wise and 
take advantage of it. Go out, go to dinner, dress up. It's fun. It's good for you, for your self-esteem and for your creativity. So just take that extra step. You're not gonna regret it. Honestly, I'm tired of seeing frumpy, lazy outfits. I wanna see beautiful things forever. So that's it. Hope you liked it. If you'd like to comment below, what are your summer essentials? Maybe you think there's something missing in my wardrobe or maybe you have some tips that I haven't considered. And I'll see you next week.